Hi, I'm Caroline Pemberton for Virtual Office. And for today's conversation, I'm sitting with Mark Cooper, who's the General Manager of IT for Hamilton Island, home of the greatest job in the world. Mark, can you tell me a little bit about your role? As General Manager of IT, I look after um, the IT on the island, as well as some sister companies that um, are controlled by the Oatley family, which is uh, Robert Oatley Vineyards. And um, we have a team of 15 IT specialists that support the island and roll out projects. Can you give me a quick overview of the IT environment at Hamilton Island? And what does that entail? How much of it do you have to maintain internally and how much do you actually outsource? Well, Hamilton Island is a very complex animal. Um, we have lots of residents, we have staff on island, we have five hotels, 20 restaurants, retail outlets and all that. And we have a very complex system of, um, or IT system behind that basically support all that. The greatest job in the world was an absolute marketing dream. The amount of recognition and online traffic that that drove was just astronomical. But what kind of challenges did that bring up for you and your team? And what role did Virtual Office play? Well, this was actually before we moved to Virtual Office. Um, the campaign was launched by the Queensland uh, Tourism Board and it was based on Hamilton Island. So Hamilton Island got a lot of free publicity from that and we got a lot of visitors. Now this was not ex unexpected, but the number of visitors was totally beyond expectations. And the hosting site where we had our website just could not cope. They were not, did not have their own bandwidth capability to handle that. Um, and the system kept crashing and, and it was a bit of a disaster. So we had to urgently move from that environment to somewhere else. We went through several vendors and we selected Office as our major um, outsourcing location for our websites. They really came through, they had showed specific interest in our requirements, they were very personalised and in the end really uh, we couldn't be happy with them. The implementation went really smooth and, and they went beyond, above and beyond uh, our expectations to help us put our websites up. How does the trend towards virtualisation relate? And is Hamilton Island already leveraging virtualisation or is it likely to? And if not, why not? We make a lot of use of the virtualisation at Virtual Office uh, uh, supplies in their services. We have about three to five major campaigns per annum that we roll out and a lot of smaller ones in between. Sometimes the smaller ones actually have more of a hit than the big ones. It really depends on where it's targeted and uh, for short or long bursts. Now during that time, we can go to virtual office and we can basically say, look, we need to have more capacity uh, and they're more than willing to throw another processor in there, throw some extra RAM on there, or even split the services up between an application and a backend database server. Um, and that's at a very minimal cost and for a, minimum, for a, a flexible period of however long we want it. Um, the other thing too is that bandwidth tends to spike throughout those periods and uh, again, virtual office uh, allows us to spike through and beyond our bandwidth allocation for short periods um, and uh, supply extra service and support during those critical times. In what way has Virtual Office helped Hamilton Island explore the merits of virtualization? Well we migrated from a, a standalone server to a virtual server and it has given us a, a whole lot of other options to go with it. We have now um, applied the proper software development lifecycle processes for our website hosting. We have a development, testing, staging and production environments. We have a disaster recovery environment and that would not have been possible if we had to have all those on separate servers. So the virtualization of the service has really made it a lot more accessible for us to uh, invest in those other alternative environments. You must have worked with a lot of IT service providers in your time. How does Virtual Office compare and what makes them different? Well Virtual Office has um, really been one of the best vendors that I've dealt with in the past and there's been very few that have been better than that. Uh, very many that have been a lot worse. Um, complete lack of bureaucracy in virtual office means that we get really flexible and fast response to our requirements. Um, and they really understand their product, they come up with various options uh, for us to choose from, whatever matches us best. They also understand our product quite well and they know what we need ahead of time and, and are prepared for that. So we're very, very happy with them. Like I said before, when we mo moved from one hosting centre to virtual office, we, they went above and beyond that. Their their ex they went above and beyond 
what we expected from them to deliver us an environment and to configure it and set it up, install the software, uh, so we could get up and running really quickly for that best job in the world campaign. Now apparently some of your websites have won some awards. Can you tell us about those? Virtual Office is hosting the environment for our SharePoint internet sites and we've done some great developments on those and won several awards in our hamiltonisland.com.au websites as well as a lot of the linked websites such as the uh, Audi Race Week website, the um, Qualia website, the Robert Oatley Vineyards websites, all those websites are hosted at that location and um, very stable and support is great. Mark, thanks so much for coming in. We'll let you get back to uh, sunny Hamilton Island. Thank you very much, Caroline. It's been a pleasure.